This is a video on installing Windows XP on a netbook via a USB flash drive. So we all know uh, netbooks are great, they're small, they're light, carry them anywhere, um, but there's a problem with them in that they don't have a CD drive. Now this poses a problem if you want to change operating systems and uh, you basically have to make use of a USB drive. Now you'll notice in my last video I should do an unboxing of this laptop. It's an Acer Aspire 1 A110, the 8GB SSD version. Now this came with Linux, but as you can see I've actually got XP running on this. Now i am basically made use of this, made it bootable, put all the XP files on it, bunged it in and installed it, but it was a little bit more complicated than that. So I'm basically going to show you how I did it. Now this is a uh, Kingston Data Traveller 1 gigabyte. It was the cheapest I can find in a shop in town, went and got it. Um, I do have some other ones, but they weren't booting properly. I had a feeling it's because of the security partitions or something like that that was stopping them from booting. But this one's fine, it cost me £6, and um, I'll basically be showing how I prepped this and I, I'll show you the install as well on this and what steps to avoid and what to consider. Um, so if you have one of these, an A110 or even I think an A150 will do it as well if it came with Linux because the, the A150 does come with Linux and also I know Asus EPCs. Um, now other laptops or possibly the Asus EPC it will vary so don't expect this to be a one for all video um, this is just showing you how to create the XP install disk again all the uh, USB disks can vary as well so um, take this with a pinch of salt um, if there's any problems leave a comment and hopefully we can get some guides together as well they are available on the web but I haven't seen many videos so I thought I'd make one so I'm now going to switch to the screencast of